Welcome to TV Station 2. If you're seeing this screen for the first time, this means this is your first initial login into the TV Station 2 application. I will run you through some of the settings to get you started. First off, your email and your password protect your channel from being accessed from unauthorized users. Secondly, we have here the time zone. The time zone will dictate on which time zone your TV station will operate. Very important feature, all scheduled broadcasts will be based from this time zone. Next we have the description. The description will tell your TV viewers what your TV station channel is all about. It will be shown in the channels list. Next we have the channel name, which defaults to channel 0. This is the master channel which controls and has access to all other channels and it cannot be erased. You may enter any name here you want. Next is the owner. This defaults to administrator. It may be shown in the channels list. You may want to enter your name or your company name or whatever you would like. Next is the category. This shows which category your channel is under. This makes it easy for viewers to search your channel based on the category label. The viewer options provide you with the available options for the video player viewer configuration, which is viewable by the end user. There are many options to consider. The first one is to allow chat, which gives you the option to toggle whether or not you want people chatting during your broadcast. To show display shows the information about the media that is being broadcasted. It will appear on the bottom right of the viewer screen. Allow full screen allows users to go to full screen mode. You can enable or disable this feature. Show channel shows a channel list on your viewer. If you don't want people changing channels, then you would toggle this off. Show on demand means it will show or hide the on demand list on the viewer. Show schedule allows you to show or hide the schedule list of your playlist on the viewer. And lastly, mark as private allows you to make your channel private. It's not entirely private as anyone can still link to your channel directly. However, this will make it difficult for other channel viewers to easily see this channel. And there are three tabs at the top. The first is channel settings, which is what we are on. The second is channel images. This is where you can add your station logo and have it appear on the viewer video player placed at any location you want. Top right, top left, top center, bottom right, or whatever you want from this drop down menu. You enter a URL link from a website or a web server wherever you have your image. If the image is too big, you can go here to scale your logo. Let's say you have a large logo image file. Here's where you can resize it and scale it down so it fits appropriately. The nothing playing image comes up when no media content is broadcasting and you need to show some sort of image that nothing is playing. The thumb image will be shown on the channel list and it also comes from a website or a web server. Just enter the URL for the image you would like to place as a thumb image. Lastly, the channel adds tab allows you to set a channel add image and the image appears at the bottom of the video player window on the viewer. Just enter a URL for the image. You can also put a target URL for end users to click on the banner and take them to the advertising website directly. It will show you a preview in this area right here. That's it. Once you're done, click the save button and you are ready to start building your playlist and scheduling your new Influxus TV station.